Hey guys, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. This is Faisal Khan, Cisco Corporation Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first integrated service application in CVP Call Studio that follows the simple uh, call flow. It will start the script, play a welcome prompt, then it will collect four digit, minimum four, maximum four, and then return the collected digit back to the ICM which will then dial that as an extension and simply ring a phone. Now you could create a welcome prompt that says welcome to voice bootcamp. Please enter your four digit extension, uh, which user you will collect and then have that call dial uh, 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 an extension. Uh, there are two parts to this. First, I'm going to create a CVP call to script. I'm going to deploy that. Then I'll show you how to create ICM script and actually call that CVP script because it is an integrated, so both script has to be there. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I am on my uh, call studio project. I'm gonna start a new project and it's gonna be call studio project. So I'm gonna call this my first uh, application, uh, my first lab, my first call flow, simple as that. Uh, click next, uh, you know, nothing here needs to be modified. The default value, I'm going to put the URL where my prompts are located. My prompts are located in my CVP server, which is right here. In the C drive, inetpub, wwroot, and enus, followed by the F folder. So that is my path. So what it will point to HTTP colon forward slash. Now, again, if you're going to use HTTPS, make sure you have the server certificate applied properly. Otherwise, it's not going to work. IP address of the server, the language, US, and the app folder. All right, so I'm done. I'm not going to worry about that at this stage. Uh, any on uh, start applications or whatnot, just go ahead and finish the application. Now, first step is remember this is going to be integrated service, so I need to create a sub uh, dialog. We call it. Uh, if I go ahead and add my element view, I should see sub dialog element. I'm going to start the CVP and drag it here. I'm going to connect the start to the sub dialog, and you can rename it to something like. Uh, start my application again totally up to you what do you want to call it now 